Hi, this is Nathan Seidel with Sparkfin Electronics here to share some thoughts about 2018 and going into the future of 2019. In 2018, we saw sort of the explosion of LoRa. We really enjoyed working with this new wireless system, and I've been doing wireless for years, but to get multiple mile range out of a, a wireless device, especially at 3.3 volts, was pretty spectacular. So we, we did quite a few products in 2018, and I expect LoRa, uh, some of these uh, 100 milliwatt and some of these one watt devices to continue to sort of live on and be cornerstones of really fun wireless projects. Uh, I had a lot of fun with them. Uh, some other fun projects in 2018 that I sort of enjoyed was the proliferation of just the, was it thermal imaging? So Molexus came out with some new low cost parts, FLIR is coming out with some really spectacular parts, and I had a lot of fun with those in 2018, as well as the additional sensing. So it's the VOC sensing and the humidity and barometric pressure sensors continue to come down in price and increase in complexity and precision. It's really a lot of fun to see. And lastly, in 2018, was just the, the in increase in the quick line. So quick is this I2C bus where we have a cable that makes it really easy to plug onto different items. Um, I've really enjoyed working with quick. And in 2018, we listed a whole bunch of new projects. Everything from GPS to the sort of spectral sensing uh, can now be accessed and put onto a bus using the quick line. In 2019, I'm excited about some uh, some stuff. Now, predicting the future is always a bad idea, but I think in 2019, we're gonna see uh, a continuation of LiDAR. So this is one of our uh, Vexel vertical, vertical cavity surface emitting laser products that does about four meter sensing distance using infrared lasers. Uh, but the LiDAR continues to get cheaper and better and higher precision. So I think in 2019, we're going to continue to see the drop in price as well as the, the increase in distance and accuracy of some of these products. Additionally, in 2019, I'm excited to see the, the advent and release of uh, augmented virtual reality. So one of the, there's a lot of projects out there. One of the ones that I have my eye on is North Star. It's one of the open source headsets that looks just fantastic. I'm really excited to try one someday and I'm hoping to get my hands on it in 2019. And lastly for 2019 is just the, the I believe will be the year that uh, artificial intelligence, whatever you want to call it, edge computing, TensorFlow, all this amazing stuff really kind of becomes mainstream. So the idea that I can do uh, some sophisticated image processing or gesture processing on uh, arm cortexes or uh, sophisticated uh, dedicated FPGAs is really interesting where I don't think we've seen a lot of those applications in the past. I think those are really going to come into the fray in 2019. So this is what I really liked in 2018 and look forward to checking out in 2019.